All right. So here's just a quick tutorial real quick on how to do the text behind you effect for YouTube thumbnails. And yeah, it's pretty easy, especially with the new version of Photoshop. So let's get into it. So now we're going to open Photoshop and then we're just going to paste that image in 1920 by 1080 resolution uh, for my thumbnail, obviously. Uh, this is the resolution of like all thumbnails. I w it's not even worth it to go any bigger because it has to be such a small image anyway. Like the maximum uh, size is two megabytes. So it doesn't really matter quality wise. So I'm going to just control V and then I have my image pasted as a layer. Um, and then so yeah, this is where we get into actually just doing the text behind you. So normally you could do something like the pen tool, which is P for short. Uh, the P button is the hot key. And you could go around and you could you could just like slowly go around, cut out your subject basically. But once you get to the hair, it makes doing you like the hair uh, stuff a lot harder. But if you are using Photoshop, um, now you d can just click the select subject button um, in the brand new versions of Photoshop, which is a great, great addition. Um, and now, yeah, it'll just like select everything for yourself for you. And like, look at that, like it got the hair pretty well, like, and that's like a one click button, right? And look, it like separated me from the chair. It separated me from the chair over here too, which is just like uh, amazing, honestly, amazing. So yeah, once we have that, we just control J and that makes it another layer. Now the text effect is pretty easy. So we just make a layer, make a new layer under the cutout of ourselves. And then we can just press T get the type tool. I'm going to use white text. I'm using a uh, Helvetica tutorial, all caps or whatever you want it to say. I had a little extra there. You can change the font however you want. Um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to use another version of Helvetica, maybe this one. Yeah, but basically you can just mess with it now, however you want, make it say like whatever you want it to say. Also, now that you have your subject cut out or you, you can double click on that layer of yourself. You can go here and do a drop shadow and change that to maybe like a white or like a, let's see like what a, like a teal might look like. Make the, the size bigger, opacity higher, you know, something like that. Um, so it's over the text right there. It's maybe change this to say effect. Oops, spelled that wrong. Duplicate this. I'm going to do text just to show, oh, that is wrong too. Just to show like the possibility with it, you know, it's going behind the hair pretty well. Like it could be better, but like that's great for like a one click option. When it comes to stuff like that, you really just got to like, if you aren't happy with it, you just got to like go in and do it like manually, but it's like, it's tough. It's a thumbnail. It's small anyway. The point of a thumbnail is like what it's going to look like when it's this small. If it's this small and it looks good, that's why you want to have big text on thumbnails because it's always going to be small. If you want to do something like uh, add extra, like if you have like extra brushes in Photoshop, like you can add a new layer under your cutout, but above your original layer. And like, yeah, I got some like storm brushes down here some like thunderstorm cloud brushes like I can go down here and do something like that it's just kind of like randomized and just like you can mess around with that turn the opacity down you know or change the color or add effects to the text there's like all sorts of stuff you could do once you got it but it's like such a simple effect that can look like very good and I feel like people could use it more than they do. Um, and it's so simple. Like if you have Photoshop, like you can take advantage of using this effect, you know? So, I mean, I mean, something like that text effect. Yeah, there you have it. You could put anything behind you. 
you could do this for all sorts of graphics. It doesn't have to be just thumbnails, you know, but it can be all sorts of things. But yeah, if it helped you, let me know. Um, check out some of my merch. There's a link in the description. Thank you for watching. And I hope you learned something and I hope you have a good night. Peace.